Hi guys. So what I'm on right now is the Are You Ready, which is on page 396. Let's go through these problems. Number one, we are worrying about writing each fraction as both a decimal and a percent. So we start with three fourths. We then plug that into our calculator. We do three divided by four, which is 0 0.75. I then need to change that decimal into a percent. In order to change any decimal into a percent, I have to move it two spaces, one, two. So that 0 0.75 or 75 hundredths becomes 75 percent. Number two, two fifths. If I plug that into my calculator, zero, uh, sorry, two divided by five, I end up with 0 0.4. Now I need to change this into a percent as well. I still, I only have one number there, but I still move the decimal point two times. So that ends up, the four tenths ends up becoming 40%. Number three, nine over 10. So I can ask myself, I can plug it into the calculator, 9 divided by 10 is 9 tenths. 9 tenths, 9 tenths. I still move it two times. I add a zero because I need that. So it ends up being 90%. Number four, 7 twentieths. 7 divided by 20, if you plug it into your calculator, you will get 35 hundredths as your answer. The 35 hundredths, I move it over two times, and that becomes 35%. Number five, 7 eighths. I'm actually gonna plug this one in. The other ones I was doing with mental math are because I just know it. Seven divided by eight equals 0 0.875. It has three numbers. I still move it twice. I don't care that it has three numbers, I move it twice. So it becomes 87.5%. Number six, one twentieth. Zero point, I wanna say zero five. One divided by 20. Yeah, zero five. 0 0.05, okay. Move it twice, one, two, and it becomes 5%. I no longer need that zero in front of it, so it's just the 5%. Number seven, 19 over 25. Okay, I know how to do this one in my head. I just don't feel like trying to do 19 times 4 as mental math. 0 0.76. I move it over two times, as always, and end up with 76%. And finally, number 8, 23 over 50 is 46. Sorry, 0 0.46, move it over twice, 
and becomes 46%. Now, you can always, always plug it into your calculator, sit there, and if it gives it to you as a fraction, press the S to D button. It looks like this. S to D, standard to decimal, and it'll switch it over to the decimal from the fraction. Um, but the way that I've been doing these inside my head is like this. I know what three-fourths is. I always know what three-fourths is. Here, I know that if I multiply the 5 by a 2, it becomes a 10, which would lead to, and whatever I do to the bottom, I have to do to the top. So if that becomes 10, then that becomes 4 tenths. Here, it's already 9 tenths. Here, I multiply the entire thing by 5, because 20 times 5 is 100. So 7 times 5 is 35. Here, I actually divided it on the calculator. I knew it was gonna end up being a number similar to this. I just wasn't sure which one it was going to end up being. Um, here, the 20, again, I multiplied by five again. And that's why we ended up with 0 0.05. Here, that 25, if I multiply it by four, will get me up to 100, and that's why I knew it was 19 times 4, but I plugged it in anyway because I didn't feel like doing 19 times 4. And down here, if I multiply the 50 by a 2, I'm going to get 100. So I just did 23 times 2. Okay, if you can make the bottom into 100, you'll know what the decimal is for it. If you can make it into a tenth, you'll know what the tenth is for it and then you just have to add on an extra zero. Uh, just a sec, let me get a new page. Okay, so second section, operations with fractions. Whenever you add or subtract with a fraction, you have to have the same denominator. The denominator stays the same. It carries across the whole way, and then you add or subtract the numerator. So in this one, number nine, it gives us one minus one fifth. I cannot do that problem right now because technically this one has a little one underneath it. One and five aren't the same, so I can't do it. However, I know that five divided by five, that any number divided by itself is one. And I want the number that I'm dividing by itself to be a five so that I can actually do my problem. So I'm going to change that one into a 5 over 5 minus 1 over 5. And then I have 5 minus 1, which is 4 over 5. Number 10, 1 minus 2 ninths. Again, I cannot do that the way that it's currently written. But I know that any number over itself is one, so I'm going to make it nine, I'm gonna change that one into a nine over nine minus two ninths. Nine minus two is seven over nine. There we go, that looks better. Number 11. 1 minus 8 thirteenths. So I'm going to change that 1 to a 13 over 13 minus 8 thirteenths. 13 minus 8 is 5 over 13. Number 12. 1 minus 3 twentieths. I am going to change that 1 into a 20 over 20 minus 3 twentieths. 20 minus 3 is 17 over 20. Next section, how do we multiply fractions? Do you remember how to multiply fractions? 8 over 15 times 5 over 8. 
Okay, so multiplying fractions is numerator times numerator over denominator times denominator. I don't particularly want to multiply it the way that it's currently written. So I'm going to show you a bit of a trick, okay? Any number, when we simplify, we take the same number from the top as we take from the bottom every single time, right? Remember that? So what I'm going to do is this. I see that I have an eight on the top and an eight on the bottom. So I'm gonna get rid of them. If you have the same thing on the top as you have on the bottom, you can just get rid of it. You don't have to keep it. I'm looking at this five here and this 15 here. I know I can take a five out of 15 because five goes into 15, how many times? Three. So I'm gonna take the five out of here and I'm gonna take a five out of here which just leaves me with a three. My new problem ends up looking like this. One over three times one over one. That's what my new problem ends up looking like. One times one is one over three times one, which is three. One third, it is already in simplest form. Next problem, number 14. I have two ninths times three fourths. I'm once again going to look at this and go, wait a second, I can take three out of nine, three on the top, nine on the bottom, I can take a three out of nine. How many times does three go into nine? Three times. So I'm gonna cancel out that three, I'm gonna take a three out of that nine, and that becomes the three at the bottom. I'm gonna look at the two and the four now. Hey, I can take a two out of the four. How many times does two go into four? Two times. So I'm gonna get rid of that two and I'm going to change that four into two because I took a two out of both the top and the bottom. So now I am left with this fraction became one over three times this fraction which became one over two. One times one is one over three times two, which is six. One, six. Number 15. Nine over 16 times 12 over 13. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, this one doesn't have anything obvious that I can take out of it like the other ones did. So I'm just going to straight up do 9 times 12 over 16 times 13, and then I'm going to simplify afterwards. So actually, that's right, nine times 12, plug it into your calculator, gives us 108 over 16 times 13, which gives us 208. Okay, so let's take out a two. Both of them are even, let's take out a two. So I'm going to do 108 divided by 2, which is 54, over 208 divided by 2, which is 104. They're both still even, so I'm going to take out another 2. 54 divided by 2 is 27. 104 divided by 2 is... 52. Um, 27 is no longer even, so I cannot take another 2 out. Uh, 2 plus 7 is 3, I'm sorry, is 9, so I can divide out a 3. 
Um, but five plus two is only seven. So I can't divide three out of that one. So I can't take a three out of this. Um, I can't take a five out of this. I'm done. 27 over 52. Okay. 16. Is seven tenths times five twenty eighths. Oh, okay, so we're back to what we were, we're back to being able to do what we were doing before. I'm looking at the seven and the twenty eight. How many times does seven go into twenty eight? Four times. So I can get rid of that seven. I can take a seven out of both the top and the bottom, which makes the twenty eight become a four. <coughs> How many times? Now I'm looking at these two. How many times does five go into 10? Two times. So I'm gonna take a five out of the top and the bottom, making that 10 into a two. Rewriting this is this fraction becomes one over two times, and this fraction becomes one over four. Is that making sense to you, how I'm doing that? I'm just taking the same number out of both the top and the bottom. It's just like what we were doing here when we were dividing out the two. Every time I was taking the same number out of the top and the bottom. It's just here I did it after and here I did it before. That's all. One times one is one over two times four, which is eight. All right. So. That is page 396. I'm going to have a different video for lesson 13.1. Uh, Talk to you later, guys. Bye.